It's a new dawn for the Formula Regional Middle East Championship certified by FIA 2023. New drivers, new teams and a new challenge, all commencing on the Dubai Autodrome. As the lights go out for the beginning of the first race, it's late evening with cool temperatures and high crosswinds. At the start, it's the rivalry between Gabriele Mini and Dino Baganovic that takes centre stage, although there are plenty of battles through the field, as Tazo de Vivazac and Pepe Marti got dangerously close. With the two leaders streaking out in front of the rest of the field, there are big challenges behind, as the young rookie Kimi Antonelli holds station in front of Matthias Zagazeta. It's still early days in the first race, so it's tough to know who's going to cope under pressure. There's war between teammates, the PHM Racing twins, Josh Dufek and Nikita Bedrin, going wheel to wheel. But there are more problems in the field, as Levi Revej ends up retiring with mechanical failure. After a technical infringement in qualifying, Taylor Barnard finds himself having to charge back from the tail of the grid. But for Sammy Megatunif, bang! He has an incident with Josh Dufek and Nikita Bedrin. Megatunif is out on the spot, and so too is Nikita Bedrin. The safety car comes out to clear the damage, and so the race is neutralized. The pressure is mounting. On the restart, Gabriele Mini takes on Dino Beganovic once again, as the Swede tries to get the lead. Brad Benavidez is in trouble, and with the fading light comes an intense battle. Beganovic tries every trick in the book to try and make his way past Gabriele Mini, and the Italian finally forces the Swede into the pit wall as he tries to hold on to the lead. Mini thinks that the race is over at this point, and unbelievably, he slows. That gives Dino Beganovic the lead of the race, and with one lap to go, he cannot be caught. Beganovic takes the victory in front of Matthias Zagazeta and the phenomenal Taylor Barnard, who charges through from dead last to third position. It's an incredible race to start the season, and it could be just the start of a furious battle. Nikhil Bora leads away in front of Aidan Neat and Lorenzo Flusha, but with more light comes more battles. Sebastian Uga is the only one to challenge the top three for the podium in the early stages, while Gabriele Mini is struggling with Fernando Brasci. Josh Dufek spends the race dueling with Tazin de Vuvuzak in the early stages. Gabriele Mini runs wide and then runs out of luck, clashing with, of all people, Dino Beganovic. The Swedes' race is over. Then Josh Dufek loses out, first to Tazin de Vuvuzak and then his teammate, Rafael Villa Gomez. The Spanish pair, Mari Boya and Pepe Marti, are in a duel of their own. Gabriele Mini manages to recover, but finishes towards the back, while Montoya is struggling with engine issues. He and Mini manage to pass Levi Revej when he runs wide. There's great battles too as Dufek bounces back past Zagazeta, but he's then nudged wide by a resurgent Jack Crawford. Out in front though, Nikhil Bora dominates with a smooth and perfect precision drive ahead of Aidan Neat with Barnard back into third again. Nikhil Bora is left to celebrate with his younger brother, Akshay. For race three, Kimi Antonelli, the rookie, starts on pole ahead of Mari Boya. But into turn one, Zagazeta clashes with Sami Megatunif. And Barnard's brilliant weekend comes to an end on the very first lap. There are varying strategies through this third race, as some drivers are on used tyres, others are on brand new sets. It's hard to know who's got it right and who's got it wrong. Aidan Neat and Lorenzo Flusha renew their battle from race two. And try as he might, Flusha just can't get by until he pulls off a bold move around the outside of turn one. Brad Benavidez duels with Levi Revej as both of them are changing their fortunes. 
Mari Boya has taken the lead and is dominating out front on fresh tyres. The rest of the field settles into a nice rhythm, but there's nobody out on circuit who can challenge the Spaniard. So Mari Boya triumphs and takes the chequered flag for Hyderabad Blackbirds by MP Motorsport. It's the Spanish driver's first Formula Regional win and it concludes the weekend with three different teams taking the victory. It's been a fabulous weekend in Dubai and Kimi Antonelli leads the championship from the consistent Rafael Camara, Taylor Barnard and the three race winners. 17 drivers scored points in the first three races out of 27 who competed. Kimi Antonelli leads the rookie by 10 points and Mumbai Falcons lead the team standings. Next up is Kuwait Motortown.